Dracula. Chapter 4 Mina and her friend Lucy were walking near the ocean. It was June. They had just come to Whitby for a holiday. Lucy was smiling. I have so much to tell you, she said to Mina. Mina tried to smile back. She couldn't. Her face was troubled. Mina, what's the matter? Is something wrong? Yes, said Mina. I am worried about Jonathan. He left England many weeks ago. At first he wrote to me every day about his trip, about Transylvania. Then suddenly the letters stopped. I don't know why. Maybe he's on his way home, said Lucy. But he would write to me, to tell me, said Mina. I'm afraid. I can't help it. I think he's in danger. Lucy frowned. Then she had an idea. Maybe Arthur can help, she said. Arthur was Lucy's boyfriend. Arthur has friends in Hungary. They can check with hospitals, with the police. Don't worry, Mina. We will find Jonathan. Mina smiled. That is a good idea, Lucy. I feel much better now. The girls walked on, arm in arm. Then the sky began to darken. It looks like rain, said Lucy. We had better go back to the house. When they got home, they found Dr. John Seward there. He was visiting Lucy's mother, Mrs. Westenra. Lucy was glad to see John Seward. He was a good doctor. He was also a good friend. John, she said, how is my mother? She is a little better, said Dr. Seward, but her heart is weak. She needs rest, quiet, some good sea air. Let's hope the weather won't be like this for long. Outside, the sky was almost black. Hours later, a storm was in full force. Wind and rain beat at the house. Lightning split the sky. Mina and Lucy looked out their bedroom window. When the lightning flashed, they could see the ocean. What a terrible storm, said Lucy. I hope it doesn't keep Mother awake. Then she saw something on the water. Mina, look, down at the harbor. The girls saw a big ship. It was tossing back and forth on the stormy sea. It will crash on the rocks, said Lucy. We must pray for the men on board, said Mina. The girls said a prayer together. Then they went to sleep. The next day was sunny. The girls were eating lunch when Mrs. Westenra joined them. My maid told me something strange, she said, about a ship that washed up on the beach. That must be the ship we saw last night, said Mina. We were afraid it would sink. Is the crew all right? That is what is strange, said Mrs. Westenra. The ship had no crew. It carried only boxes. Fifty long, narrow boxes, like coffins, filled with earth. Mina and, Lucy, Mina and Lucy looked at each other. They did not know what to think. I heard something else, said Mrs. Westenra. There was a big dog on the ship, almost like a wolf. My maid said it killed someone and ran away. No one could find it. Mrs. Westenra looked pale. It makes me sick just to think of it, she said. Mother, said Lucy, please stay calm. You know what Dr. Seward says. You must rest. You must not worry. That is not all I'm worried about, said Mrs. Westenra. You are walking in your sleep again, Lucy. I'm afraid you will hurt yourself. I won't, said Lucy. Mina will watch over me, won't you, Mina? Like a hawk, Mina promised. Later that day, Mrs. Westenra talked to Mina alone. Please lock your bedroom door tonight, she said. Then Lucy won't be able to get out. She will be safe. Mina agreed. But late that night, she woke up to find Lucy gone. Her bed was empty, and the bedroom door was open. Mina jumped out of bed. She put on a cape and found one of Lucy's shawls. I will wrap her in this when I find her, she thought. Then... She left the house. Outside, the wind was blowing. Clouds flew across the moon. It was dark one minute, bright the next. Mina was not sure which way to go. She couldn't call Lucy's name. 
Mrs. Westenra might wake up, so she set off for Eastcliff. She and Lucy liked to sit there and watch the ships. Maybe Lucy had gone there in her sleep. Mina started running up the hill, past the big church, past the quiet graveyard. Soon she could see Eastcliff. She strained her eyes. Was that Lucy in her white nightgown? Lucy, Lucy, she called. Then she saw something long and dark. It was bending over her friend. At the sound of Mina's voice, the dark figure looked up. Mina saw a white face and red, gleaming eyes. A cloud passed over the moon. When the moon came out again, Lucy was alone. Mina ran to her. She was still asleep. Her breath came in long gasps. Mina wrapped the shawl around Lucy. She pinned it at Lucy's neck with a big pin. Then she woke her friend gently and led her home. Mina, said Lucy in a sleepy voice, my mother will worry. Please don't tell her about this. I won't, said Mina. She unpinned Lucy's shawl. Then she tucked her into bed. Thank you, said Lucy. She turned to go to sleep. Mina saw two red marks on Lucy's neck. They were like pinpricks. How did they get there? Mina, Mina wondered. Did I scratch Lucy with a shawl pin? The question was still on her mind as she fell asleep.